Okay, so we've just been um, here, just uh, relaxing, um, giving Chloe some, uh, some treats to keep her busy. But really, <clears throat> uh, yesterday, if you guys noticed, we, were in, uh, we went from an X-Pen to a bigger baby gated area to now we are off leash and we are totally relaxing in the bed because I'm able to supervise and I'm able to keep him from wandering. I've closed most of the other doors here and I'm just giving him an opportunity to, um, to groom himself. He's been licking his paws clean and just totally chill out without a leash on and without anything on him. But, um, and he's been here for about five, six, seven minutes, just pleasantly, happily um, watching, um, watching us here, hearing us talk. Um, and so he's practicing social distancing as well, but in, uh, without feeling so, um, so restless. And that's the other thing about these little puppies, guys. I think, you know, um, when they leave their, um, their siblings and their, um, and their mom, they don't know what's going on. So the first couple days, um, is a little bit more of a sensitive period to get him used to a routine, but getting him into that routine is important using the leash and the harnesses and the things that we talked about is important and so that they can start to settle. And so that's what he's doing. I'm still not going to trust him. I'm still not going to leave him. I still will uh, baby gate him when, uh, when I can't be supervising, I'm still going to use the leash, but to do all these things until we're completely potty trained and teeth and we've earned the right, which is going to take about five to six months, as I told you guys, but every day is an improvement. That's what we're looking for. And we're never hard on ourselves when, you know, something doesn't go as planned because lots of things are not going to go as planned, right? We're just looking for little improvements and routine every day. Sterling. Hey, babe. Sterling. We got to get him used to his name too. Hey, Sterling. Good boy. Good boy.